Hi everyone. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can do airport flipboard style animation in PowerPoint in two ways. So the first way is using a split animation. So this is how it looks. And the second way is using collapse animation. This is slightly different. Let's start by breaking down the first animation that uses the split animation effect. Firstly, we have this blank shape that's in the background. These are nothing but two rectangles with gradient applied to them. And these are two circles that connect these two rectangles. First, look at the letter N starting with the blank rectangle. This letter N is a stack of all the letters starting from A to N. On the right hand side, you can notice all the animations applied to every individual letter. So if I click on letter N, you'll notice it's highlighted here. Now it's showing up here because this letter N is on top of all these letters that come before it. We start with this blank shape, then we put AN on top of it, BN on top of that, and so on up to letter N. We then apply the split animation effect which is an entrance animation for each of these letters except this blank shape because when we start the animation, we want this blank rectangle to be shown. Other than that, there aren't any additional settings we have for our animation except the timing. Now, the more letters you have, the shorter the duration needs to be because it's going to cycle through all these letters. So we don't want to bore our viewer, which is why we need to speed through our animation if there are a lot of letters in your stack. So here, because N is further down in our alphabetical order, I have applied 0.1 second per letter. However, if let's say we are at the beginning, let's say this letter E here, you will notice that the duration is 0.25 second because we need to slow down if there are fewer letters. Another setting we need to apply is after previous. So because we are going from left to right for every letter that comes after another letter, we need to apply after previous from the start drop down box. You can also locate this start drop down box if you click on effect options, then go into timing and the same drop down box is also here. So first important thing is the order of your letters in stack, then the duration for each stack and making sure that after previous is applied to all letters. So this is how your stack would look like if every letter is separated from each other. In the first column, we have letter A followed by B, C and so on all the way up to letter Z. Let's say if I want to quickly assemble a stack for letter E, all I need to do is select the stack for letter E, copy it. Let's go on to an empty slide, paste the stack, then align all your letters by clicking on align in the middle. Let me delete this so we can see our animation. So here, as you can see, it's pretty easy when we have a template like this. Now I have done all the hard work for this template. So you don't even have to go here and create your stack. I have already built the stack for every letter here. Let's do an example by building the animation for New York. So copy the stacks for all the letters required for New York. So N, then comes E, W, we need a blank, then we need Y, O, R, and K. To select these stacks, what I'm doing is I am holding down control key and then dragging my mouse over the letter. If you just select the top letter, it will only select the top letter and not the entire stack. We need to be able to select the entire stack. So make sure that you are dragging your mouse over this entire stack. You can also do this one letter at a time if it's easier. So I've copied all the stacks. Go on to the new slide. Let's arrange them. Next, go to animations tab, click on animation pane. Next step is we need to arrange our animations right now. It starts with letter E. So we need to change that by finding the animations for letter N stack. So it, it's here, it starts from AN all the way up to NN. Select these animations and drag them right at the top. Then we need E, we already have E here, so that's good. Then we need W, so W should be here towards the end. 
So select all these animations from A through W and drag them after EE. Then we need Y. Y should be at the end. So here it is. Select all of these animations, drag them and place them right after WW. So right here, then comes O. O should be after YY. Then comes R. R should be after OO. And the last letter is K. Let's look at our animation. Now this last stack for letter K was a bit slow. So if you need to speed this up, just select this stack. Then under duration, let's speed this up by giving the time as 0.1 second instead of 0.25. Hit tab. Let's look at it again. Just focus on this last letter. It should be faster than previously. And there it is. So it's quite easy to make changes to timing. Let's do another name where letters are repeated. So how about London where O is repeated twice. So go to your stack, pick all the necessary letters. So L, O we can only select once. We'll have to copy paste it again. Next is N, D, O is already selected and n is also already selected so let's copy our letters paste them on the new slide let's arrange them in order because o and n are repeated twice so select the stacks for these two letters Control c Control v to copy and paste them place them here let's arrange them on the same line as with the previous example we need to make sure that the animations are in the right order starting with l then o then n and so on so right now d is the first animation so we need to find the animation for l which is right here so select the stack for letter a place it at the top then comes o or the first o drag it after l l then comes letter n or the first instance of letter n so select the entire stack of animations place it after o o then comes d it's already here then comes o so we need to find the second stack for letter o and place it after d d and i think that should do it let's look at our animation in full screen mode great so that's the first way we can animate flipboard style animation using split animation. For the second type, we use an exit effect called collapse. So it's under exit and collapse. By default, collapse is not listed in our strip here. You will have to find it by clicking on more exit effects and then collapse should be under moderate. The way this animation is set up is little different than the previous animation because we are using an exit animation effect the order of our stack is flipped so we have this blank shape right at the top then comes letter a which is behind this so for all these stacks the first letter will have to be a followed by b c and so on if we compare that to previous stack we had the blank shape right at the bottom then a on top of it be on top of that and so on so the order of letter placement is reversed here also we need to animate the blank shape as well while as in the previous version we didn't need to animate the blank shape on the contrary whichever letter is at the bottom we don't animate that because that's the reveal letter for our stack the way this collapse animation works is it collapses every shape from top to bottom so first it will collapse this letter then it will collapse this and so on all the way up to the end and since we need our last letter to be shown we do not apply collapse animation to that as with previous example this is the full stack laid out letter by letter and the animations are set up similarly except here we are selecting collapse rest all is pretty similar so the duration differs based on how many letters you have in your stack we also apply after previous here too i have prepared the stacks for all the letters and because our reveal letter is way at the bottom of each stack 
to be able to know which tag belongs to what letter i have labeled them here let's do another example we have done new york and london so let's pick mumbai go on to the slide with our stack pick all the letters m then comes u then we have m again then b a i let's paste all these stacks onto a blank slide let me put them on the same line to know which stack is what letter just click on the stack and look on the right hand side we have a underscore blank so this must be letter a this must be letter b this is letter u this is i and this is m so we need m first so let's place it here then we need u so let's place u next then we need to duplicate letter m place b after that a and finally i let's arrange our animation in the right order so starting with m u find the second instance of letter m place it after t u then comes letter b a is already here and finally i let's check out our animation in full screen mode now the letter a did not show up so let's fix that here for some reason for letter a under start drop down box we had on click enabled we need to change that to after previous another change i can make is for these first three letters i want to speed them up so i'm going to change the duration to 0.1 second let's look at our animation again and there we have it so depending on your preference you can go with the split entrance animation or the collapse exit animation i personally like the collapse animation i'll be sharing this template in the description this took me a ton of time to assemble as you can imagine placing every letter in the right order applying the right animation and trial and error so i hope you show your appreciation by liking this video and sharing if you can thanks for watching